Hello and welcome. I'm Ijoma Onyasol tonight. Jubilation in Akure as elder statesman Olufalae regains his freedom after four days in captivity. Muslims celebrate Eid al Kabir. President Buhari joins other Muslims to mark the event in his hometown, Laura, in Katsina State. Muslim clerics preach peace, ask people to imbibe the teachings of Islam. And over 700 Muslims die in Saudi Hajj Stampede in Mecca. And on business news tonight, security is trading across the country remains closed as Muslims observe the Eid al-Kabir celebration. And on sports news tonight, Nigeria's female national basketball team, the Tigresses, ready for Angola showdown at the FIFA uh, FIBA Afro Basket in Cameroon. We begin tonight with the cheery news that the elder statesman Chief Olufalae has been freed. His younger brother, Sunday Falae, told Channels Television that the former presidential candidate was released by his captors in the afternoon. The elder statesman arrived his home at 4.20 p.m. to the warm embrace of a large crowd of friends, family members, political associates and supporters. At the moment, he's being shielded from making any statement to the media, but it's expected that he'll recount his ordeal and give more insight into his abduction. The Inspector General of Police, Solomon Arase, led the Special Intelligence Response Team from Abuja, five units of mobile police, and 400 conventional policemen from Ondo State to the command that's in our war area of the state where Chief Falae was rescued. And we'll bring you more on the rescue of Chief Falae later on in the bulletin. Now, Eid al-Kabir is the second of two religious holidays celebrated by Muslims worldwide each year. It honors the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his son as an act of submission to God's command. The meat from the sacrificed animal is preferred to be divided into three parts. The family retains one third of the share, another third is given to relatives, friends and neighbors, and the rest is given to the poor and the needy. And President Muhammad Buhari visited Daura, his own town, to mark the Eid al-Kabir holiday. Earlier today, he joined others at the Kufa Arewa Eid ground. In his sermon, the Imam, Sheikh Safanu Yusuf, pointed out that the importance of the sacrifice, he says, is the significant meat being slaughtered for an occasion like this, which could be given to the needy and even non-Muslims. He urged people to continue to pray to the Almighty Allah to give the country peace, unity and stability. And the Emir of Daura, Al Haji Umar Farooq, directed all mosques in the Emirate to organize special prayers for peace and stability in the nation. He prayed to Allah to continue to guide the president to lead the country right. Some of the important personalities who observe the Eid prayers are the director, Department of State Services, Al Haji Lawal Musa Daura, and other prominent sons of the Emirate, including religious and traditional leaders. The president and the Emir slaughtered their rams after the prayers. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari has left Nigeria for the United States to attend the 70th United Nations General Assembly in New York. The President left with a 22-man delegation for the 10-hour journey. He is accompanied by the governors of Kaduna, Niger and Cross River states. Also joining the President are the former governors Kayode Fayemi and Rutimi Amichi and as well as the former member of the House of Representatives, Mrs. Abike Dabri Erewa. Others are the National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mungunu, and the Presidential Advisor on Media, Femi Adeshino, among others. In the meantime, the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, returned to his home in Kwara State to celebrate Eid al-Kabir. He joined Muslims in Ilori, the state capital, to observe the two rakat prayers. There are, however, reports that some hoodlums who disguised themselves as worshippers allegedly attacked the Senate president, a situation that prevented the chief imam from delivering his annual sermon, just as the emir was reported to have also abandoned his Salah message. Eyewitness accounts say the protesters were angered by the alleged inability of the state government to pay salaries of workers before the Salah celebrations, making the civil servants unable to purchase their own rams. 
The police public relations officer of Kwara State Command says the situation was promptly brought under control. And after the prayers, Dr. Saraki called on Nigerians to be steadfast and not mix worshipping with mundane things. The most important thing is that tolerance, love for each other, peace and cooperation. We, are, we must continue to be tolerant to one ourselves. And also we must ensure that whatever abuse, we should not bring it to the prayer ground. This is a place for religion. Uh, and we should must continue to love ourselves. Because there's no development, there's no peace. There must be peace, then there will be development. So I want to appeal to all Nigerians to be tolerant with our leaders. We are promised a new Nigeria, and inshallah we will get there. There are some miscreants that came. Uh, normally we've been encountering them in the previous um, celebrations. So their aim is always to come and ask for money, to beg for money from uh, where to do members of the public. But today, because the, the, the big men, uh, end quote, are not forthcoming with money, so they, they became unruly, and that was why we, we have to 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 come you know in between them and make sure that they were dispersed so when they were trying to resist arrest and were becoming very very um, unruly we have to arrest them we made arrests we arrested about eight of the miscreants uh, in conjunction with other security agencies because we were all working together we were there the nigerian police uh, sss civil defense and the rest of them were all together working together. so eight of them were arrested and are with us now undergoing an interrogation well, staying with the celebrations now, Eid al-Kabir was marked with various activities across Nigeria, beginning with faithful coming out to observe the early morning prayers. Leaders also seized the opportunity to send goodwill messages to Nigerians, and the usual festivities were held afterwards. Channel's television captures some of the moments of the Eid celebration. The Idil Kabiru across states, marked with prayers and celebrations, is held amidst tight security, especially in the Flashpoint and the Northeast. In the northwestern parts of the country in Kaduna State. <laughs> Governor Nasir Arufai used the occasion to commiserate with victims of the recent flood disaster across the country with prayers for the people of the disaster-prone area. In the insurgency-troubled northeast, the Ido Kabiru Salah celebration was peaceful in Yoba State. Muslim worshippers in Damaturu, the state capital, converged in the various Eid prayer grounds for the usual two rakat prayer. In north central Nigeria, Governor Tanku Al Makura of Nasarawa State calls on Nigerians to embrace the spirit of sacrifice and support efforts aimed at restoring peace throughout the country. Because of the different kinds of devotion that we partake on, are accepted to pray for Nigeria, for peace and stability, to pray for our president who has taken frontally issues that have bedeviled this country in the past with sincerity of purpose, fear of God, and commitment towards keeping this country as one and united country. In Kwara State, Muslims in Ilori, the state capital, joined the counterparts in the world to observe the two Rakat prayers to mark the Eid al-Kabir celebration. And in the southwestern Nigeria, the governor Rauf Aragwashala joined thousands of other Muslim faithfuls to observe this year's Eid al Kabir at the Ukibale Muslim Praying Ground in Ushugbu, the state capital. I will admonish us to sacrifice all our limitations, all our shortcomings, all devices that we know we are. Let's sacrifice them for self improvement and development. Meanwhile, in southeast Nigeria, after the prayer, which didn't take too long, the deputy chief imam in Imo State, Ibrahim Onumagbulam, went ahead to perform the ritual killing of the ram, which is Islamically termed Eid Alada. The message is 
whatever God has given to you belongs to God, even yourself. And if he asks you to make a sacrifice for him, like any other simple instruction, have no reservation of doubt, no, have no iota of doubt in trying to fulfill the wish of God. The Imo State Governor Roche Sokorucha in a press statement through a spokesman, Sam Owemudu, commend Muslims of the country for the contributions, especially through prayers to the oneness of the nation and urge them to continue to pray and promote all those things that would strengthen the unity of the country. In part two, after the break, the impact of the withdrawal of federal government deposits from the banks. I'll be joined by the president of the Association of Bankers, that's Dr. Uju Ogubunka, to join us again.